Hi, I'm Joe Caruso with the Music Emporium, and I wanted to talk to you about a few guitars that I uh, stumbled upon today in the shop while I was looking for something to do. I don't often have a lot of downtime, but when I do, I try to get uh, familiar with some of the new stuff that comes in the store. And sometimes uh, the thing that uh, calls me to pick up a guitar is the same thing that calls a lot of people, is looks. And uh, we like to say you can't judge a guitar based solely on looks, but it is the first thing that draws us to instruments. Sometimes that's, uh, there's a huge payoff, and sometimes it can be very disappointing. I'd like to think that everything that we sell, looks aside, sounds amazing. Uh, but if the first thing that draws you is looks, we'll find out if there's some substance to that. These three guitars all share one thing in common, and they're all made uh, with bear claw spruce. Bear Claw, as the name implies, has this really uh, sort of visually arresting kind of uh, grain pattern. It's highly irregular, and uh, it's not a wood that I think people saw a lot of back in the heyday of guitar building. I think Martin probably threw away more sets of this than they used. People wanted things that were cosmetically perfect and not necessarily cosmetically interesting. These days, when we order a guitar, um, we, can, we can opt for a really expensive uh, piece of Adirondack, or we can actually introduce um, uh, a really beautiful component into the instrument by selecting Bear Claw, which doesn't add a lot to the price, but it does make the guitar more interesting. And uh, to some people, if you talk to someone like Michael Millard or Froggy Bottom, who knows a whole lot about wood, he'll tell you that bear claw is usually from bigger trees, older trees, which introduces a, a higher stiffness to mass ratio, which can clearly affect the sound. But given all the other components that go into an instrument, not sure that bear claw is the sole determinant there. Point is, it's fascinating stuff. The other thing that's interesting as I played these guitars is they both directed me into, uh, into different musical territories. That's the fascinating thing about acoustic instruments, uh, that they sometimes determine what you're gonna do and not you. Uh, if you're in a bluegrass mood, and I'm never in a bluegrass mood, Andy might be, I'm never. I wouldn't have picked up any of these guitars to begin with. Um, I'm a finger style player, light strummer, but they directed my technique. Some guitars have you just linger over big open chords. Some guitars call you to play further up the neck and listen to the interplay of notes up there. Froggy Bottom, for instance, which has a lot of that Martin texture and, uh, and richness, really um, has me listening to some of the interplay of uh, open chords. Whereas the Taylor, with this gorgeous Sapelli back and sides, is... Uh, I want to play this a little lighter. I don't want to dig in too much. Um, the lighter you play certain guitars, the more they deliver. So, and then the froggy bottom, and not the froggy bottom, the, the good all can do a little bit of both. You, of course, can do whatever you want with an instrument. But once again, the point I'm trying to make is if you pick up the right guitar, it'll push you into a different musical direction and break you away from the things that you're used to playing. And that's a good thing because we all need a little kick in the pants sometimes to get us away from the familiar. So find the right guitar, see what creative direction it pulls you in. If it's looks that draw you, fantastic. If it's a price tag, we can help you there as well. Uh, but the point is, play lots of guitars, keep open ears and an open mind, and you'll discover a lot of magical qualities to instruments um, no matter who makes it or what price range so that's my little spiel for today if you like what you are watching uh, you can follow us on Instagram and on YouTube you can uh, subscribe to our channel we'll hope to deliver a little bit more of this content as the days roll into spring thanks for listening and we'll see you again